Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example on traffic barrier control. So let's look at the example first. Traffic barrier control. When a vehicle arrives, raise the barrier for 20 seconds and after that lower the barrier. If the barrier hits down during lowering, immediately raise the barrier for 5 seconds. So, the arrival of vehicle will be detected by a proximity sensor. So, in this example, we will use some timers and we will also be using some memory bits. So, let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram to control a traffic barrier. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep Read Protection as Inactive and Write Protection as Inactive and then click on Apply. Then I will go to Configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. So here is a description about the logic controller I have selected. Then I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram to control a traffic barrier. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as proximity sensor that will detect the arrival of car. Then I will assign address to the coil as M0 which is a memory bit. And then I will add a new rank here and then I will insert one more normally open contact and then a coil. And I will assign address to this contact as M0 and I will assign address to the coil as M1. Then I will insert a timer here for M1 and that should be TP. And I will change time based 1 second and reset value as 20. And then click on apply. Then I will add a new rank here. And then I will insert a normally open contact and then a timer and then one more normally open contact and then one more timer and then a coil. I will assign address to the coil as M. 0 and I will change the type of timer to T on and I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 20 and then click on apply. Then I will assign address to this normally open contact same as proximity sensor that is I 0, 0.0 and then I will change the type to TP and time based to 1 second and preset value as 5 and then click on apply. Then I will assign address to the coil as M2. So we will use M1 and M2 to turn on the barrier or to lift the barrier up. 
So in the first case, M1 will be used when a car is detected that the car has arrived so that the barrier will be raised. And then when the barrier is lowering, then if it detects the car, then M2 will be activated and M2 will activate the barrier and it will raise the barrier again. So I will add a new rank here and then I will insert two normally open contacts. I will copy it and then paste it here and then I will insert a coil here. Then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So I will assign address to this contact as M1 and then I will assign address to this contact as M2 and then I will assign address to the coil as barrier. Sorry, Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as barrier, which may be motor or any other actuator that will lift the barrier up. Then, so here in the rung 0, I will insert one more normally open contact and I will latch M0 here. So I will assign address to it as M0 and then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So when a proximity sensor detects that the car has arrived, M0 will be activated. And when M0 will be true, M1 will be true for 20 seconds. And in those 20 seconds, car will be moved. So proximity sensor will be off. And then when M0 will be true, after 20 seconds, the current will flow through it and when again the car has arrived, proximity sensor will be turned on and M2 will be turned on 5 seconds. So when M1 will be on, that is when the car has arrived, barrier will be on or when lowering, if the car is still there, then M2 will be on and when M2 will be on, barrier will be again activated for 5 seconds. That is, barrier will be raised up. So I will exit full screen mode and then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when car has arrived the proximity sensor will be turned on and the car will leave and barrier will be turned on for 10 seconds. Sorry, 20 seconds. And after that, barrier will be lowered. That is, barrel will be turned off. Thank you for watching.